Hey everyone, this is Light, and the Overlord collab unit previews just came out recently, so I'm gonna go through them and give you my thoughts. So let's start with the main character, Ainz. Uh huh. Pretty cool. So this one's this one's a free unit. So these stats, um, these are okay. Taurus mage. These are generic debuffer stats. Good base speed. Good tank stats. Effectiveness ER. Yeah, pretty good. It's a five star dark effectiveness imprint, of course. Gives high effectiveness and dispels all buffs. So S three dispel all buffs. Silencing. 100% chance of like death sentence, unaffected by skill cooldowns and decrease effects. So, at the start of someone's 12th turn, deals 5,050 damage to the bearer. Okay, so at the start of someone's 12th turn, so this is probably, so this is everyone's turn. From the enemy before so, 12th turn. turns happens pretty fast. 12 turns is like, this skill is unaffected by it's like one and a half cycles of the game. That sentence is an effect that deals 50,000 fixed damage to the bearer at the start of someone's 12th turn. And this is on a 3 turn cooldown, including the molas. Uh, so yeah, it, it ticks on everyone's turn. That's nice. So this guy gets one shot by Aiden and any other light unit. Uh, that's nice. When an ally is attacked, it is interesting when when units have like a negative gimmick. A, a, barrier to all allies for two turns. Uh, a shield, an, an RNG shield, it doesn't hurt. Barrier strength to stun for one turn. Attacks all enemies with lightning, 25 chance to stun. Random AoE stun is fun, I guess. <laughs> Ein's old goons are Artifact, 60 gear old. score for free. 60 gear score for free, 20 effectiveness, 40 ER, um, it's nice. Ein's it's, it's nice, I guess. The symbol of Ein's old goon, crafted for science. Okay, let's see. This is insane. So they're demoing it against um, everyone's favorite team, Yuhin. <laughs> Yeah, Evian and um, Lulukar, although I is not here. Okay, so we have three Evian. And it's at one. And then it takes the two. And it takes a three, so it's it's one for everyone's turn. So this explodes on like this explodes after like basically less than two cycles of turns, which is really really fast. Uh huh. Spez fan service. Aoe counter stun seems a little annoying. And he's not necessarily weak to Rwanda because Rwanda makes you take more turns. So it actually makes his SD faster. Which is pretty cool. And Yufin dies before she even takes her second turn. That's pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, I think I've seen enough of this preview. So, um, the artifact, this is this is nice and all, like 60 extra gear score, but I don't think you'll really want it. You'll probably want like Proof of Valor to survive, or you'll want like Book to, you, you'll want Book to cycle better because his S1 is over an extra turn, and his S3 is only a 3 turn cooldown. Uh, let's talk about this. This seems to be like his his gimmick. Um, basically, it, it almost guarantees that someone dies, which is which is cool and all. But this does not say it ignores ER anywhere. So if this gets fifteen percented, you have a dead unit, which kind of sucks. But also the effect is very strong. 
but it has counterplay. Um, he's countered by revivers. Like if you pick Ruel, he has to target Ruel first, and his team might die before before like he gets the ball rolling. So that's nice. Um, he's countered by invincibility. Funny thing. They did not include Crimson Armin in their preview, probably because Immort is like invincibility and like maybe like Abigail immortality kind of ruins this. Like fixed damage does not go through either of those. So <laughs> um, there is counterplay. Like, I think he's a really, this is a really, really strong gimmick of something instantly dying after X amount of turns. Like if there are fast units in the game, like this will go, this, like this goes wild. Um, but it has counterplay. I think I think this is super healthy. It's like it's not like you pick this unit and you're and like you're killing the other guy guaranteed because like they can revive, they can they can block the damage. So that's nice. So yeah, the free free unit actually has decent use. Um yeah, pretty good, pretty good. S2 random shield counterattack. I mean that's that's okay, I guess. I mean like my shields are always good. S1, AoE stun, um, Soulburn extra turn. Soulburn extra turn is the best Soulburn in the game. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Overall, I think he's... He's gonna be pretty fun, but the counterplay is there, so he's balanced. So yeah, pretty pretty cool unit. Um, uh, let's move on to Shao Tier. Uh, let me figure out. Okay. Team HP imprint, most broken imprint in the game. Shaltier is a five star. Crit chance imprint, high base speed, high crit chance, high attack. So insane DPS stats. And crit chance imprint. I'm guessing she's going to be the SSS will Fire unit, if any. She has high attack and critical hit chance. And can high base speed is very concerning. This is probably like the best um warrior stats ever. Skill two, true van. All right, so she this this goes up to fifty percent. So she has Celine passive where she needs to get hit twice to die. Start of the turn. Okay, she gets attack buff for free, and she gets stealth for free. That's pretty insane. When fully enhanced, damage suffered like she has Tachi and Guiding Light in her passive, and she can't die in one hit. That's turn, pretty insane. Uh huh. S three dispel all balls, attacks the enemy. Uh huh. Increase hit chance by hundred percent. So this is the ultimate anti evasion skill. That's really really good. Ignore Efres of any targets with lower attack. Okay, my only concern is that there's no damage pen on this skill. Typically, single target attacks that don't have damage pen, or they, they don't have defense pen, they're kind of lackluster. But she's killing Aiden, so that's nice. Okay. Summons different familiars to attack the Natural enemy. injury on S1. Natural injury on S1, and if you soul burn, so you soul burn for 10 souls, increases to 20%. That's really, really Severity good. I'm guessing this is like anti Laya. Injuries decrease max health of the target by up to 10% every time this skill is used. When 10 soul is consumed, increases damage dealt, and injuries decrease max health of the target by up to 20%. Vigor attack buff, 31k is decent damage. Shaltier's artifact. Single target 20 so this is portrait for single target attacks, not limited by by an HP threshold, and it has 15% lifesteal. This is kind of insane. It has almost a lifesteal set on single target attacks and makes you do more damage. This is kind of insane. So I, I'm guessing she's definitely the whale unit or the, the unit to whale on. Like Crit chance imprint and a healing damage artifact, like that's kind of insane. Healing artifacts tend to be very, very strong. Like Golden Rose and Sigurds. 
players will be able to meet Shao Tier through the list. Okay, um, I don't like previews because you you don't you don't know what kind of janky stats they're using. So, so just based on this speed, I feel like this C Lilius is like two fifty speed, and this Shao Tier is two forty speed. Which is kind of, yeah, you know, which is potentially misleading. Like, and you you can never trust previews with DPS units because you don't know their gear. And yeah, it's definitely potentially misleading. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna put it out here right now. This 25k, this 25k is not good damage. Um, she has attack buff vigor. She's roughly 240 speed, and escort got stripped. This 25k is not that impressive on a unit. That has typically less than a thousand defense. This twenty-five k is not very impressive. I, I want to see this damage on a, on like the normal unit. Otherwise, she's only an evasion killer. I don't know. Pre previews with C Lilies are kind of <laughs> kind of silly. Attack of Vigor, Defense Break, yeah it's just perfect. Anyway, let's look, do they have a preview of like, a more realistic situation? Can we see her S3 damage on Landy? Oh, it's Defense Broken. The Landy's Defense Broken, so it's not much to say. Eh. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like you won't pick her. Uh, this S3 is really lackluster. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like sure, you have a 100% chance to hit evasion units, but I feel like it doesn't do damage to normal units. So unless there's an Aiden or Rylid or a Spez on the other team, I don't imagine people will slam this unit. Yeah, like... I like, guess like no single target attacks with no defense band typically don't do that much damage. So yeah, I mean she kills she kills she she'll be the best evasion killer. And I think that's a very valuable and she has survivability with her S2. Like this is an insane S2. But I feel like her damage might not really be there. Outside of killing evasion units, I mean she has injury S1, that's nice against Laya. Um, but again, you can't trust preview gear. I feel like I feel like real player gear, this kind of ability will be able to one-shot stuff like green Lulica for sure. If you can use like the, the gear of real players. But yeah, until until we see her actual numbers, I cannot really judge this unit. I'm just very concerned that she doesn't have defense pen on any skill. But yeah, I think her, her kit is really good, but it all, all depends on her damage, which we don't know by just the preview. So yeah, let's check out Albedo now. Okay, green knight. Albedo is a five star earth element. Okay, her stats are super tanky, but she does not have any F res or ER, so I'm guessing she's gonna be some kind of DPS knight. HP, stealth imprints, always good. Skill three, Rage of Nazareth. Full strip into unbuffable and defense break. 
HP scaling. Defense break is always good. Strip into defense break is always good. And you can reduce you can reduce it to like two cooldowns or damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. When ten soul is consumed, cooldown of the skill is decreased. Let's see, she does She did six point two K damage. Six point two K damage to Yufin with no escort? Okay. When an ally Decrease. Oh wait, this is twenty percent. She has twenty percent damage mit as a passive for for crits. That's kind of insane. That that's actually kind of insane. When ally attacks with so the crit, att counter attacks with let's go by corn. Can I, can I, uh, attacks all enemies to spell one book before increasing speed of the caster for two turns. Damage dealt increases before the increases caster's HP. Level okay. 20%. Typical AoE counter every other turn. That's kind of cool. I really like that she has mitigation built in. That just did a thousand damage. <laughs> Uh, okay. That just crit Yufin for a thousand damage. No need I see. The CR boost S1 is always good. Bonus damage based on caster's HP. Okay, 3.5k, 3.5k bonus damage. Oh, this also has bonus damage. Okay, so this is the this is the After HP scaling rocket punch, I guess. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is this this um proc chance makes it a whale artifact. Uh huh. Let's see the preview. It's disturbing that they. Is Lulika Yufin in every preview? But they don't use C Armin. Probably because C Armin would screw these units over. Okay. Okay. So her artifact just ticked for a thousand damage. That's kind of bad. Her, her artifact AoE ticked for a thousand damage. Um, that's really, that's not really good. All right, let's see, let's see her damage to this um, defense of Yuki, I guess. Four point one plus two point eight from the artifact cost. Okay. Okay, it's something. Defense break is always good. I can't tell if the damage is good. I'm sensing corrupt energy. Allow me to purify you. I'll make you taste despair. The time has Hmm. Take your life. This is it. Yes, this let's drag out Beto every time. I never fight 
Okay, I don't know. Um, defense break is good, but I don't know. The damage seems a little underwhelming. I don't know. I think this is just another unit where you have to see how much damage they actually do, and you can't trust the preview. But it's really nice that she has built in the uh, built-in damage reduction. Like this is insane. Like mitig mitigation is very hard to draft these days. And if they, they, they get banned easily. So like this this damage mid is really good. I think she has potential. But she might end up being underwhelming. Cause I don't I don't see this S2 this this like Bicorn AoE thing. I don't see I don't see it being that good, but maybe I'm crazy. Like, 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 this, this preview is like fighting Yufin, right? But in my mind, like, if I, like, like this Yufin, this, this Yufin, right? In my mind, in my mind, when this person presses S3, Yufin is gonna counter attack and then be at three stacks. And then, and then when, um, when someone gets crit, She's gonna proc her passive again, and then she's gonna outburst something, and then I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think she'll be like a Yufin counter or anything. But she seems. She seems. She seems okay. This is definitely a unit that you can't really judge till you see her like her her like multipliers and everything. But yeah. So overall, Ainz, Ainz is good. He has counterplay, which makes him healthy. Shoutier, you can't trust the preview. You have to see their numbers. Albedo, you can't trust the preview either. You have to see their actual numbers. So yeah, thanks for watching.